My love affair with Niagara started last summer when my boyfriend proposed at Pearl Moore's set. It really sparked my desire to find even more hidden gems in the region. So I am headed back here with Holler's creative producer Josh and we're on a mission to explore the region through the lens of a local. There's nothing better than experiencing a place like a local would. So today we're on the hunt for a great natural wine, a scenic spot to get some exercise in, and of course, no trip would be complete without trying out some of the ultimate foodie spots that all of the local chefs frequent. Well, we're here at It's About Time in St. Catharines, Niagara. It's a Mediterranean place. I heard that it has some amazing items on the menu from shawarma to falafel and a secret menu item which I'm very curious to find out about. So I think today uh, we're going to try the chicken wrap, the pocket of course, and the falafel please. Good choice. One of my favorite things, especially when traveling, is just finding like little unassuming places like this. I feel like they always have the best food and no one knows about it. You like falafels? I love falafels. Okay, you know what? You should try it this way then. That's the best way to know okay, what perfect. falafel is. Because once you put it in a wrap, it's not, it won't be the same. Oh my God. This is so good. I would give you a bite, but I don't want to share. <laughs> Can you hear me crunching now? <laughs> the falafel's amazing. Whatever he does with this pita though, it's so like thin and crispy, it's amazing. I do want to try the yeah. secret menu item though as well. So this is what the big ticket item is that everybody comes to Niagara for. So it's called a pocket if you want to order it off the menu. If you just say secret menu item, Sam won't give it to you, so just hot tip. Mm -hmm. They have to ask for the pocket. They cannot say, I want the secret menu thing. Okay, yeah, yes. that's good to know. <gasps> I'm so excited. Oh my God. Okay, eat this right now. Off to the winery, yay! I think this is it right here. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty here. <gasps> wow, this is beautiful. Okay, I'm just yeah. gonna go lay somewhere with a book and some grapes and a bottle of wine, and I'm gonna find Charlie the dog that they have here and see you later. Now we're checking out the Rosewood Estates Winery. It's obviously, as you can see, very beautiful here, and they have a really beautiful selection of wines and specifically natural wines. That's been something I've been super into lately, so I'm excited to check it out. They still have a lot of complexities, but it's a lot lighter, I find, than drinking reds. Like, you can drink a lot more of it without getting that wine Is that, fogginess. That yeah. <laughs> summer, great summer wine. drinking, that's for sure. Do you think there's wine in here? I love it, it's so peaceful and beautiful here. Cheers. Cheers again. To escapism. Yeah. <laughs> this is my, I actually love no sweetness. Oh yeah, all. it doesn't taste sweet at all. Yeah, this is dangerous. You could drink this all day. I feel like you take our surroundings for granted living in the city, so it's crazy what's accessible it's so close. What is the appropriate amount of time where I'm allowed to sit in this chair and not move and keep drinking wine before it's like, okay, sir, you should probably I don't think give someone else a chance. A limit. You know what's the worst part about this? That it ends? Yeah. <laughs> like that's it, that's the last sip and it's over. I know, well, I'm buying a couple bottles, so. <laughs> We're hiking through Balls Falls right now and going to the Upper Falls. It's a beautiful trail as you can see. Follow me. Oh, I like this bend. I feel like we should do a shoot in here. It's really like peaceful here. I feel like you'd get a yoga mat. Nice little session out here. I think uh, we may have just discovered one of our favorite hidden gems on this trip so far. This is the top of the Upper Falls and just I want everybody to just like take a moment and listen because it is the most peaceful sound here and it's so beautiful. I think there's certain places that you find that picture just does not do it justice, neither does video and this is one of those places. So if you can check it out, come to Balls Falls, you'll find the trail. But it's look at it, it's stunning. After working up an appetite with that hike, we're now headed to Oddbird. 
a new age Canadian bistro located in downtown St. Catharines. I've heard a lot of great things about this place, from the fun vibe to its ever-evolving menu that offers a real culinary adventure. Wow, that looks amazing. You guys are torturing me. All of the yeah, sitting in front of me, I'm like, give it to me. Mm. You love that? The Alps are such an underrated food, I think. I could eat it every single day. It just has to be done properly. Like, this is it's done perfect. properly. You need that juxtaposition of the crispiness the crispy of it. outside. I love this. It's like choose your own adventure with food. Like, you want <laughs> seafood, you want a little chicken. Whoa, this is amazing. What was your highlights from your first day at Niagara? It's yeah. unique, and we're very lucky that we have, like, we're in such close proximity yeah. to something so special. The diversity here and the variety of things that you get, like, that is my Niagara and my Niagara experience, and I will definitely be coming back for more. Yeah. It's gonna be all clips of me. Like dodging insects? No, but that's the thing. I grew up in Australia. I love nature. Is it coming at me? <laughs> that was, like, my favorite pastime. <laughs> Stop. I love it. <laughs>